Welcome to our lesson on performing reflections on a grid using a mirror line. So we're going to begin by reflecting this blue triangle here. And we're going to reflect it in this vertical mirror line. So when we reflect an object, it is easier to reflect the vertices or the corners rather than the entire shape itself. So I'm going to label each vertex. We have vertex A, vertex B, and vertex C. And when I reflect these vertices, we're going to travel to the mirror line, which is one unit, and then we have the same distance on the other side, which is another one unit. So vertex A is reflected to here, and this is the image of vertex A. For vertex C, again, we have one unit to the mirror line, then we reflect it one unit on the other side, so this becomes the image of vertex C. And for vertex B, we can see we are one, two, three, four, five units away. So we go five units on the other side of the mirror line, which brings us to here. And this is the image of vertex B. And now we can reflect the object by drawing these vertices together. So here we have a reflection of a right angled triangle. Okay, let's move on to our diagonal reflection of a kite. So again, we're going to begin by labeling each vertex. We have vertex A, vertex B, vertex C, and vertex D. Now, when we reflect in a diagonal mirror line, we're going to travel towards the mirror line diagonally. So that means for B, we're going to go one diagonal unit to the mirror line. So we pass through it again one unit diagonally. So vertex B is reflected to here. And vertex A, this is an invariant point because it is reflected onto itself. And vertex C, it is two units away, two diagonal units. So again, we reflect it two diagonal units on the other side and this becomes vertex C. And for D, we have one and a half diagonal units. So we're flatten that again, one and a half units away. So it's the same distance on both sides of a mirror line. And now to reflect the kite, I'm going to join the vertices together. So here you can see the reflected image of the kite. Okay, let's move on. So do you want to try and reflect these two shapes in the mirror lines? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So we're going to begin by labeling the vertices A, B, and H. And again, we'll reflect them through the other side of a mirror line. And vertex A is one unit. So it goes one unit on the other side and it is reflected to here. Vertex B, the same. And C, which is two units away, is reflected to here and the same for H. And I can reflect these vertices around the entire shape. And then we can join the vertices together to recreate the object as an image. So this is our completed reflection. Okay, and finally, again, we'll label the vertices as we go around the object. Vertex A is reflected on top of itself. Vertex B is one and a half diagonal units. So we go the same on the other side, which is here. Vertex I is one diagonal unit away, which is reflected to here. D is reflected to here. And then we have E and C. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.